The appendix, the organ we misjudged, for over a century it was dismissed, a vestigial relic, a leftover from our leaf-eating ancestors, a ticking time bomb in the gut. The appendix, small, worm-like, and prone to inflammation, was seen as nature's mistake. Surgeons removed it without hesitation. Textbooks called it useless. Evolution had moved on. But evolution had other plans. In the last two decades, science has begun to whisper a different story. One that turns arrogance into awe. One that reveals the appendix not as a fossil, but as a fortress. A safe house. Deep in the folds of the large intestine, the appendix harbors beneficial gut bacteria. The microscopic allies that regulate digestion, immunity, even mood. When illness strikes, when diarrhea or antibiotics wipe the gut clean, the appendix acts as a biological arc, reseeding the intestines with life. It is not passive, it is strategic. Studies show that the appendix contains lymphoid tissue, rich in immune cells. It may help train the body to recognize threats. It may regulate inflammation. It may even play a role in fetal development, producing endocrine cells that help balance the body's internal systems. And it has evolved independently in mammals over 30 times. Once it appears in a lineage, it almost never disappears. That's not a mistake, that's adaptation. And yet we cut it out. Over 300,000 appendectomies are performed annually in the U.S. alone. Most people live without it. But some studies suggest that those without an appendix may recover more slowly from gut infections, that their immune systems may be subtly altered, that we may have been too quick to discard what we didn't understand. Because the appendix is not useless, we were. We mistook silence for irrelevance. We mistook simplicity for obsolescence. We forgot that evolution does not waste. It repurposes. It refines. It hides its genius in plain sight. And now we are listening again. The appendix is not a failure of design. It is a reminder that the body is smarter than we are. That what we call junk may be treasure. That what we remove may be protecting us in ways we cannot yet see. It is not the appendix that failed us. It is our imagination. 